we talked about how important it is when students are involved in uh, or engaged in sustainability implementation projects on campuses uh, that they learn about the engagement of or commitment of the leadership to sustainability and there is the other aspect of it how committed is the leadership to sustainability and what can we have in terms of uh, transformational leadership on driving innovation so this title is a bit strange but read it carefully sustainability in higher education the impact of transformational leadership on followers innovative outcomes a framework proposal okay <laughs> so higher education institutes initi uh, institutes initiate accelerate and facilitate regional and national development through human capital development knowledge creation innovation capacity building and technology transfer as the overall goal of the higher education institutes as contemporary global challenges are of a mixed and multidimensional nature interdisciplinary education and innovative research are needed more than ever thus leaders of HEI are required to transform their institutions to respond to these challenges and the pressures created by global dynamics net zero and sustainability are among the top ones in terms of uh, new roles that can be expected of academic uh, institutions this study is dedicated to designing a framework to enhance the relationship between the leadership styles and their followers innovative outputs the suggested framework is based on the model of Kong et al. for leadership implicit follower theory, lift leadership implicit follower theory and suggest that transformational leadership TL style to initiate the positive lift. This methodology proposes a set of indicators to assess innovation outputs quantitatively and intends to use engineering schools of HEIs as a sample of uh, to test the framework. It suggested that this framework can be adjusted to examine different HEIs, colleges and R&D institutes in different contexts and at multiple leadership levels. The main outcome of this study is a framework that can be used to evaluate, assess and train existing or prospective HEI leaders, leaders develop tailored human resource strategies and design leadership training for students, researchers and young faculty members for their future career development in creative ventures. So you not only want to measure the leadership of the institutions themselves in the context of innovation driving uh, dynamic global solutions but also maybe learn enough lessons to teach students how to become leaders, transformational leaders. Uh, higher education role in, I skipped I will skip many details as usual. Higher education role in sustainable development, that's the main goal here. Historically, HEI involvement in sustainable development can be seen in multiple initiatives and declarations signed by university leaders since 1990. Although the Stockholm Declaration considered HEI's role in achieving sustainable development, uh, Talwar's Declaration uh, of University Leaders for Sustainable Future held in 1990 in France was the first direct and official involvement of HEI in the SD implementation process. Talouris, is it here it says Talwars, here it says Talouris. Talwars was the international model used, uh, where 500 colleges and universities presidents worldwide from more than 12 countries discussed the importance of increasing environmental literacy among specialists in engineering, science, economics, social sciences, health, and management. They emphasize the need for expanded research on the complex interaction of human activities and the environment including strategies, technologies, policies and institutional behavior. All the declarations emerged later shared uh, three main objectives which emphasized the need for universities to integrate SD in teaching and learning, research and operations within all HEI, foster environmental literacy and increase awareness of uh, sustainable development for better understanding within the society, build interconnected relationships with different stakeholders and collaborate for interdisciplinary approaches. So there is the idea of uh, updating the curricular activities themselves to provide uh, the awareness about sustainable development to all disciplines uh, you know engineering social science economics health and so on and then there is the uh, 
connectivity of the HEI with the society to see what environmental literacy and increased awareness uh, can be carried uh, to societies. Implementing and incorporating the concept of sustainable development in universities has led to a number of challenges of which maintaining traditions is one. Engineering schools have been trying to integrate sustainability into their curriculums and face the biggest challenge of paradigm shift. Uh, Mulder's theoretical study highlighted the need for a concrete social transformational process to ensure the lasting effect of SD uh, effect for SD education in engineering as academic leaderships of commitment approved to form a leading a, a leading cause for initiating and implementing uh, SD in universities transformational leadership is suggested for this study to facilitate the transformation process towards implementing SD in universities when I arrived at the Indian, Inst Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, there, are, there is a climate studies center, but there were no dedicated undergradu undergraduate courses in climate science. And I created one which covers climate science, climate change, climate solutions, because it's a technology institute. And there is a lot of interest, but it's still facing some issues in terms of how many students I want to allow to take it, how do I examine them, and what the content should be to cater to multiple levels of uh, undergraduates, uh, you know, the seniority or the level at which they are, year two, three, four, and so on, and what the, uh, you know, uh, expectation should be in terms of learning outcomes. So leaders implicit follow uh, followership theory, leaders implicit followership theory lift from Kong, follows a social cog socio cognitive process which is a way to acquire social and non social skills by a learning process which consists of observing and modeling. Cognition plays an important role in this process and it provides a framework for understanding, predicting and changing human behavior towards learning new behaviors new behaviors which can be negative and or positive. So sustainable development to be brought into uh, education does require some changes in human behavior and in terms of accepting that sustainable behavior, so sorry, sustainable development is an important aspect and it also needs uh, leadership. So leadership, implicit followership theory, uh, positive lift will lead to leader member exchange, intrinsic motivation and creative self-efficacy. You can go and read the explicit uh, definitions for these if you want to follow up and that leads to employees creativity. So that's what the leadership is supposed to do in terms of uh, what the impact would be or if there is a leadership then there is a followership so you have to understand the relationship of or the impact of leadership on the followership in terms of let's say creativity of the employee transformational leadership theory then says that transformational leaders are individuals with capabilities in elevating followers goals to perform beyond their expectations through a set of four main traits which are idealized influence inspirational motivation, intellectual stimulation, and individu individual consideration. The fact that T, uh, TL helps tr unlock human's potential can be a strong identification of its ability in facilitating and encouraging the paradigm shift needed in engineering schools called for by Mulder in this paper. In an effort by Rosing et al. to collect studies of different leadership styles in relationship, uh, relation to innovation. They found 31 studies with more than 5,000 observations that support the positive force between transformational leadership and innovation, which is another reason for choosing transformational leadership theory as the focus of this study. So here the uh, principles of let's say transformational leadership are being extracted by this kind of meta-analysis and combining lift theory with TL to see if a course or training can be provided to students to send them out with training in transformational leadership. So the framework of global innovation index defined by Cornell is shown here. Uh, this figure is a bit fuzzy but don't worry about it. Global innovation index average 
innovation efficiency ratio, innovation in input uh, sub-index and innovation output sub-index. So here you have institutions, human capital and research, infrastructure, market sophistication, business sophistication and the output you have knowledge and technology outputs and creative outputs. There are details here in terms of political environment, regulatory environment, education, uh, ICIs, general uh, infrastructure, ICT, sorry, information and communication technologies uh, in, in terms of market sophistication and business sophistication, you have credit, knowledge of the workers, investment and innovation linkages and so on. Here you have knowledge creation, intangible assets in creative output, knowledge impact, creative uh, goods and services, knowledge diffusion and online. <laughs> <clears throat> online creativity okay so interactive system and its players in organizations balanced and interactive governance leadership and followership lead to effective efficient and sustainable organization in C you have possible undesired outcomes if and when governance leadership and follower system is unbalanced Okay, so this is here a iterative system. So you have arrows in both directions with leader, followers, and the system. So that's going to be important in any system, especially in the higher education system where you have, uh, let's say, teachers, students, and the educational system, or the university leader, faculty, and staff, and the uh, university system. So here you want let's say sustainable effective and efficient system then leaders followers and systems have to be balanced and interactive governance and followership uh, ha have to work together to produce such a system but if you have a system that's not balanced then you can have wasted resources neglected individuals effort either in terms of rewarding them or not allowing their uh, creativity to be expressed in terms of outcomes and so on right so very schematic but you get a sense that designing curriculum to develop transformational leaders is going to be uh, not so easy after initiating the lift three moderating factors were added which are intrinsic motivation and creative self epic efficacy and the innovation driven system which is suggested by the authors of this study IDS is the inclusion of innovation in the vision and mission and overall strategic planning for an organization to show what to what extent the, no, the innovation is valued in uh, organization. So if it is not valued, then you will have uh, neglected individual efforts. Okay, so that's the uh, general idea here. Um, assumptions considered in the proposed framework all followers in academias faculty especially are knowledgeable in their fields so they have the foundation for being creative which is the technical skills there is no passive followership where followers are described by obedience with low sense of responsibility hence active fellowship uh, followership is dominant so you don't have just kids sitting in the class and not interacting not uh, participating but you have followers uh, in this case let's say faculty who are actually uh, active followership uh, in terms of uh, the ba creating a balanced system for leader follower and the overall system okay which has to be sustainable effective and efficient okay so let's see uh, uh, let me open the again I'm doing this in near real time Let me, I want to clarify something. Let me pause it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, these things happen when you don't plan properly. It's a kind of a long course and I keep doing it in bits and pieces. I record 
podcast whenever I find the time. Uh, so sometimes I uh, forget things. Okay, so let me read again. After initiating the lift, three moderating factors were added, which are intrinsic motivation and creative efficacy, and the innovation-driven system, which su- which is suggested by the authors of this study. So identify, discuss, and solve. I think this is what. Uh, the IDS is meant to do in this case, identify, discuss and solve is the inclusion of innovation in the vision and mission and overall strategic planning for an organization to show to what extent innovation is valued in an organization. That's part of the iterative process. Assumptions considered in the proposed framework, all followers in academia, as we said before, are knowledgeable and they are not just passive followers. So lift modified by the uh, Kongs lift here. Transformational leadership leads to positive lift and then you have intrinsic motivation added. So these are the moderating factors that we just discussed. Creative self-efficacy and innovation driven system. So this then leads to overall employees creativity. This is what a transformational leader is supposed to do. So the framework provides some more details. Proposed table of Uh, indicators for empirical analysis of the success of such a system of uh, leadership and followers uh, with employees creativity so you have input process output again before we saw input state and output as an analysis model here we are doing input process and output so indicators include teacher pupil ratio total R&D headcount continuous skill development reward system university government in industry collaborations there are units associated with each then the output Uh, These are the processes, these are the outputs. Number of graduates in science and engineering, number of patents, number of scientific and technical uh, published articles, H index, which if you know what it is, you know it. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Basically, when you have a X number of uh, papers, H is the index with uh, N number of citations. So N papers with N citations is called the H index. Okay, some measure. The higher the uh, H, more the number of papers you have with more citations. So number of startups, which is a very good uh, metric as well. So this is the proposed innovation indicators main categories. So input process and output, which I put uh, uh, behind this one, should have been ahead of it anyway. What is the conclusion and future work? This paper has tried to show the importance of creativity and innovation as essential skills for achieving sustainable development. So we went slightly away from sustainability on campuses, but it's okay. As some of the problems faced globally are not caused by scarce resources or collapsing markets, but by static thinking, these skills are highly needed, especially in academia. HEIs are the main hubs for knowledge production, research and individuals skill development, which is why creativity training should be encouraged in such institutions. In this study, the focus is placed on leadership role in cultivating more innovation in organizations such as universities and since leadership has a dominant role in the workplace, its influence should be positively invested. Okay, our study proposes a novel method in combining a leadership style that was proved to influence the creativity and innovativeness of followers to the lift theory which is followers cent- which is follower centric as an attempt to stimulate positive effects. So leadership cannot be just a force, a power that pushes people but actually brings maximum employee innovation innovation abilities to the fore, so it stimulates positive effects. It also proposes a set of indicators to assess the creativity and innovativeness quantitatively. The study contains three main sets of data which are leadership style analysis by MLQ, a leadership followership system analysis questionnaire which is designed by the researchers team, and a creativity and innovation indicator table 
which is suggested by the researcher's team and most suitable for engineering schools. Currently, the researchers are working on the application of this model where three universities are being examined to identify the causality between different levels and styles of leadership and different forms of innovation indicators. By succeeding in determining these relationships, a human development plan can be established to determine what styles and traits are needed to foster certain forms of innovation. This plan can be used to assess existing and prospective R&D leaders, develop human resource strategies and design leadership training. So it's not just about uh, uh, about uh, university leadership and how one may be uh, able to drive uh, faculty innovation uh, and so on, but also this is uh, important to see if that methodology can be used to quantitatively ass quantitatively assess transformation leader transformational leadership of the university structure or university leaders but also use those to train students to go out and be good at sustainable development in the real world okay so these are multi-factor leadership questionnaire mlq okay so again too many acronyms that i keep to forget i tend to forget um, this is not over yet so let me come back and uh, follow with the next section of this course. Let's leave this here.